Selling puppies is one of the largest industries in the United States, grossing hundreds of millions of dollars a year, perpetuated primarily by consumers who purchase dogs from thousands of pet stores across the country. But did you know that buying a puppy from a pet store has a direct connection with the overpopulation and high euthanasia rate in animal shelters? Let us show you how it works. But first, let us explain where it all begins. Have you ever asked yourself why all pet stores have so many young dogs at any given time of the year? Or where are they coming from? Those mysterious facilities are called puppy mills. You can't step foot inside of a puppy mill. You know why? Puppy mill is a commercial dog breeding facility that focuses on increasing profit with little overhead cost. The welfare and health of the animals is not a priority. That is why owners of puppy mills will go out of their way to hide the real conditions that the breeding dogs have to live in. With limited or no regulations, puppy mills leave animals living in urine and feces for an indefinite period of time. Most puppy mills do not provide veterinary care, climate control, or weatherproof cages. And most animals do not ever leave their cages and have no space to exercise. A five-year-old female would have given birth up to 10 times in a puppy mill. After that, she is no longer of use and will be discarded. Let us show you how these dogs end up in shelters. Young puppies are ripped away from their mothers often too early and then shipped to pet stores all over the country. Some of them bought by responsible owners, some are not. If a puppy wasn't sold prior to a certain age, pet stores can't make money anymore and a young animal is surrendered to an animal shelter. Oftentimes, irresponsible owners realize that their dog is not a puppy anymore and decide to get rid of it as a useless toy. These are some of the main reasons why animal shelters are overpopulated and in desperate need of help from organizations such as AMA Animal Rescue. Even though shelters are supposed to provide safe haven for the homeless animals, conditions in there are not much better than in puppy mills. Some of them even practice daily euthanasia of dogs and cats only because there is not enough space or funds to take care of their medical condition. One of the biggest health concerns in shelters is a kennel cough. Due to close proximity of cages, it is impossible to avoid. Although simply treated with antibiotics and fresh air, kennel cough is the quickest way to land an animal on euthanasia list. Some people are going to pet stores only because they want to get a puppy. What they don't know is how many young and healthy puppies, as young as 8 weeks old, are waiting to get adopted in shelters. There's a huge possibility that the puppies in pet stores came from the same breeding facilities as the puppies in shelters. 